All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and I'm here today to show you how to transfer your Bethesda games to Steam using Bethesda's built-in handy-dandy transfer library tool that they've made available for the month of May so that you can keep all of your Bethesda games and your save files so that you can continue to play them after the Bethesda launcher shuts down soon. Because it's like May 4th when I'm recording this, and the whole launcher stops working and stops letting you play your games on the 11th. So to do this, all you have to do is go to this URL here at the top. I'll put a link in the video description so you don't have to like pause and type it in. And that's the transfer library tool that Bethesda set up to move your stuff to Steam. And then you gotta do two things. The first thing is you've gotta link your Steam account in order for it to actually know where to send all your games and files. So there should be a button here. I've already in the past linked my Steam account, so I'm not going to fart around with that, but there'll be a button here. Just click it, go through the login process, all that good stuff. And then the next thing is you're going to want to click on this big kind of teal button here that says Start Steam Transfer to transfer your games to Steam. And then it says this process cannot be canceled when initiated, so, you know, be careful and make sure it's what you want to do. But because this whole thing's shutting down, I'm going to say yes. It's definitely what I want to do. Now, I think I've only got Fallout 76 sitting on this account, which I honestly don't play anymore. But it's always good to make sure you keep all of your stuff in one nice place where you've got... Oh, actually, I had a couple other games, too. Field On and uh, Tactics and Fallout 2. Oh, go figure. Um, so it takes, like, no time at all to do this. But depending on how many games you have from Bethesda, how often you play them if they're like installed on your computer with like save game data and all that stuff, it might take a little while for this to transfer over, but this was relatively quick. So that's all you have to do in order to transfer your Bethesda games from the Bethesda launcher to Steam. This literally didn't even take me five minutes, so I hope you found this guide helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.